So now examining the lower leg, again, starting with the motor exam, again, looking inspection, looking for any atrophy or fasciculations, which again would be more lower motor neuron or a prolonged upper motor neuron could lead to some atrophy. Um, sort of to test the tone, it's a little bit harder to do like this, but again, you can do the same sort of thing. Um, usually we do more at the foot and just, just a very quick dorsiflexion to see if there's any beats of clonus, which there does not appear to be. Yeah. And uh, sometimes just seeing how pendular they swing, because actually if they tend to be too pendular, that can be a cerebellar issue, but that seems to be fine. And then moving on to strength testing. Uh, again, I'll just focus sort of on this leg. Can you raise your leg off the bed? Okay, raise it up, and don't let me push it down. Okay, so that's hip flexion, which is iliopsoas, good. And that's, you can just relax it now, that's L2, 3. And kick out against my hand, good. That's the quadriceps, L3, 4, the femoral nerve. And uh, then moving down, can you point your whole foot up? Good, and hold it right there, good. It's tibialis anterior, which is primarily L4, some L5. And same thing, the big toe up, which is a bit more, extensor halysis is a bit more of L5, don't let me move it, good. Now push down like it's the gas pedal, good. That's the gastrox, which is L5, S1, mainly S1. And pull your leg to, pull against my hand, other way, good. And that's the hamstrings, which again is L5, S1. And again, we could also do, raise this leg off the bed, okay, and push down against my hand, good. So that's gluteus maximus, which is uh, hip extension. And everything seems strong there. And again, that's also L5, S1. Uh, and then, of course, I would examine the other leg. Uh, moving on to reflexes. So the two main reflexes are, of course, the patella. Okay. And although you could tell his, his reflex are a little brisker in the lower compared to the upper, but that's fine. It's just more if they're asymmetric. And then moving down here, lifting his leg up for the Achilles. And that's good. I'll move over here. And it's good. And then what we can also do is the Babinski where we actually scrape this at the bottom. And we're just going to scrape it along there. And he retracts a bit, but he doesn't do the positive response, which is the toe going up. And yeah, the toes really actually are neutral, maybe slightly down going. So those are the reflexes. And moving on to sensation. Again, using my uh, pain sensation. So if you could close your eyes and tell me when you feel me. And again, I would normally go in a random order, but in this case, I'll go in order. Yep. That's L2. Yep. That's L3. Yep. That's L4. Yep. That's L5. Yep. And that's S1. And obviously, if you wanted to test S2, 3, 4, 5, that's more going to be testing the perineum region, which I've been asked not to do in this patient. Um, so that's sensation, and that basically covers the examination of the lower leg. And we can also do this examination with him lying down, which I'll demonstrate now. So when examining the lower legs in the supine position, again, starting with the motor exam, looking at inspection, seeing if there's any atrophy or fasciculations, fasciculations being fairly specific for lower motor neuron. Atrophy is sort of early on in lower motor neuron and later in upper motor neuron. Looking at his legs, I don't notice, so I'm just going to raise this a little bit. Don't notice any atrophy, asymmetry uh, side by side. Uh, moving on to tone. One of the things the lower leg doing it uh, lying down makes it a bit easier is I'm just, just relax, is checking tone this way. And what I'm looking for, the key thing, is just watching the heel to see if it comes off the bed. So if someone has normal tone, it should not come off the bed. Whereas if they have increased tone, the whole leg can come up and sort of hang in the air for a little bit. And this looks good. And then again, you can test. Uh, tone at the leg, same way as in the sitting position, looking for any clonus, one beat there, certainly not anything excessive at all. Yeah. And that all seems to be fine. And obviously I, sh I should have said that if the patient had any joint pain, should have asked that before I did some of these maneuvers. So that's tone. Then moving on to strength testing. I'm just going to raise, let me move your leg into position each time, and then I'll ask you. So just hold this leg up in the air. Okay, I'm now testing uh, iliopsoas strength, and don't let me move it. Okay, good. And he has good, strong iliopsoas there. Okay, and don't let me bend your knee. 
good. And that again is uh, his femoral nerve, his quadriceps. So you can just put your leg down, okay? Mm -hmm. And then point your foot up at you, okay? And this is uh, dorsiflexion, don't let me move it, which is typically Alice anterior, L4, L5. Same thing, toe, point your toe up at you. I'm just moving your toe, which is more L5. Push down like it's a gas pedal, excellent, good. And again, raising this up in the air, just let me do it. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and straighten your knee, don't let me do it. Okay, and that's the hamstring L5S1, and now push your leg to the ground, your old leg, good. And that is uh, the gluteus maximus, or the hip extension. So that is uh, strength testing uh, for the lower leg. And then moving on to sensory, just say yes when you uh, feel me poke, or actually, sorry, I skipped over reflexes. Okay. So checking the two reflexes, the patella and the uh, Achilles. If you're just, just putting my hand under here a little bit, and then I can feel it against me. Good. And then a couple ways you can do this is just like that, and I can still feel it there. Or what I can actually do is put my hand on the base of the foot and hit my hand, because that'll also give a kick back. And same thing over here. It's a little bit awkward on this side, but he still has a good reflex, and like that. And again, uh, doing the Babinski, and it's down going, and down going. So everything's good with reflexes. Now moving on to sensation. So close your eyes and tell me when you feel me touch. Yep. Yep. So that's L2 on both sides. Yep. Yep. L3 on both sides. Yep. Yep. L4 on both sides. L5 on both sides, yeah. Yeah. S1 on both sides. And that concludes the examination of the lower leg. Now we're going to move on to cerebellar testing. And if I could ask you to sit up, I can help you.